Hi, this is Yunus, and in this video we're going to talk about how to create a database tree in C++. So to do that, uh, we're going to create a structure called node. And each node of the tree is going to be a structure that has integer key that will represent the value of the node. And also, each node needs to have a node that is pointing to the left and right. So each node is going to have another node, node left and node right. So those are two sides of the tree. Also to begin with, let's create a root node. So it's going to be the beginning of the node. So it's going to be node root and we're going to assign it null. And Let's, for the sake of being accurate, we'll say null pointer for each of them. So to insert, uh, to, so to start a tree, we're going to have a function called insert node. And we're going to pass a key inside of that. And let's create a definition of that function at the bottom. So to begin with, at the beginning of the program, you don't have any tree. So what you have to do, you have to check if you already have a tree or not. So we we'll check if if root that's the beginning of our, our tree. If root equals null, that means we we don't have any tree yet. If it equals null, what we're gonna do, we're gonna say root equals new node. So it's gonna be dynamic. Then we have to say root key. That means the key of the root object equals key. That means this is our first node and we're assigned the very first number that we pass into our tree. And also we have to say that the left side of the root is going to be null pointer and the right side is going to be null pointer as well. Oh, it's right. So this function checks if we have a tree or not. But what if we have a what if we already have a tree? In that case, what we're gonna say we're gonna have else. Then let's create another insert function in the case where we have we already have a tree. So we're gonna say void insert node. It's gonna have the same name. We're gonna overload the function. So we're gonna pass integer key. Also we're gonna pass a pointer a pointer object leaf and let's create a definition down here so let's first finish this one so if we already have a tree what we're gonna do we're gonna call insert node and we're gonna pass key that we pass into that function and we're gonna pass our root so we're done with this function this function checks if we already have a tree if not it creates the very first node in the tree if we already have a tree it will pass it to the next function so inside of this function we have to check if the key that we're passing to this function is less than the key value that the current node has. So if the key is less than the leaf's key, in that case, the key has to go to the left side since it's less than. Then we have to check if we have we if we already have a node on the left side. So the, to do that, we have to write leaf. So this is the left of the leaf, left node. If leaf equ not equals 
null pointer. So this means if the left side of the leaf is not empty, we have to go to that node and check that node instead. So we're, it's going to be a recursive function. So we're going to say if insert node. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pass key again. Then we're going to pass the left node of the structure. Else. If the left side of the node is empty, what we have to do, we have to create a new node on the left side of the leaf. To do that, it's pretty simple. You have to write leaf left, and we're gonna create a new node, and we're gonna write leaf left. Then the key of that left node is going to be our key value and also the leaf's left side's node's left side is going to be a null pointer and we're going to do the same for the right side of the left node so this one checks and creates a new node if the key is less than the leaf's key now we have to check what if what if key is bigger than the leaf's key what we do in that case it's going to be pretty much the same thing we have to first check if the right side of the leaf is empty It's not empty. We have to go to that right side and do the same recursive function. Do the same thing for the right node. So we're gonna call insert node and we're gonna pass key and uh, leaf right. If the right side is empty, in that case, we're gonna say we're gonna create a new node on the right side of the leaf. It's gonna be new node, and the key of the right side is gonna be the key that we're passing. And also, we have to assign a null pointer to the sides of the right node and the same thing for the left side so this function will keep adding a new nodes to the tree in the correct order if the new key is less than the key that we have it will go to the left node and it will keep going to the left as long as the key is less than. Now let's check if, uh, if we have any errors. So, oh, I forgot to write key here. Alright, seems like we don't have any errors. So now what we're gonna do, let's create a search function that will search for a specific key in the node. So to do that, let's create a function called search key and it will return node. And we'll call it search key. And we're gonna pass integer key into that function. And let's create a definition of the function here. <coughs> 